Hi, my name is Iksha Suppa. Hi, my name is Asmina Magar. So this is our science fair. So we tested the pH level of water from different brands. And um, we're gonna show you what we did step by step. Our experiment is to help you be aware of the water you, you drink every day. And even though there's high demand and supply going on today for economy, you should always be aware because no matter what parties or what family events you are attending, it's always important to stay healthy and keep your environment healthy. Um, me and my partner both agreed that core would have the best pH level results because we simply like the taste and great value would possibly have the worst um, pH level among our brands because we thought it tasted weird. As for our materials, we have used five items. We simply used pH stripes, brands of water, a small bowl, um, tap water, and lastly, our phone to record. Our independent variable was pH level of water. Our dependent variables were the brands we used and our constant were um, the convenience store we bought the water at, the pH strip, and the environment was a bright light in there, and the age of water were only four. As for our procedures, all we did was to buy brands of water and then we had to go and buy some pH stripes which had different levels. Number one basically mean had the most strongest acetic and number 14 had the most strongest base. And as for the water, number seven would be the most important one to have. And step three would be to pour small amounts of water in a bowl. So basically it could be plastic or something from your house. And as for the uh, step four, like the direction said, you have to dip in the pH um, stripe halfway into the water for no more than three seconds. Step five, wait for a uh, few seconds to the color to fully appear. Compare the color to the picture palette given by the pH stripe. And lastly, record the levels, which can be one, two, three, and four, based on the brand. So these are all the results of the, um, of the brands of water we used and our tap water as well. You can see the range from um, the graphs um, showing the different level. Experiment can apply in our everyday life since we all drink water every day. So knowing the pH level of your water can help you balance your body and maintain metabolic processes. And also it can help you determine what brands you can avoid in the future. Even though water tastes the same, people need to be conscious of the chemical that's processed and how it was made, that it's more than just water because the pH level does depend on the price, brands, and the store you can buy. So make sure to be careful. And these are the resources. This is the end of our experience. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.